हमें लास्ट टेस्ट यू हैव नॉट गिवन दिस संडे टेस्ट हमें द सेंट आर सेंट अलोंग विद द टाइम टेबल ओनली सो सी टू स्टूडेंट हैव नॉट गिवन आई थिंक वी जस्ट चेक एंड देट यू नो इट हैज 3 डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम ड्यू टू translational motion and to degree of freedom due to rotational motion therefore internal energy or we can say average kinetic energy for one molecule average kinetic energy first we are taking for one molecule then for one mole for one molecule will be 3 by 2 kbt Plus two into half of kbt, which is five by two kbt. Just copy this much. Average kinetic energy of one molecule is three degree of freedom. So three into half, two degree of freedom, two into half. Total five by two kbt. Kb means Boltzmann constant, which is universal constant upon Avogadro number. Completed. Yes, sir. Done. So for one molecule, now kinetic energy for one mole. Therefore, energy for one mole denoted by U equals to pi by two kbp into one mole means Avogadro number of molecule. So it is pi by two. R by N A into T into N A N A N A cancel. Now D U upon D T is pi by two R, which is C V equals to pi by two R. एक बार फिर से देख लो अनमोल how we got D U by D T is C V. Heat supplied at constant volume is called as is used to increase internal energy. So internal energy for one mole. is given by cv dt therefore du by dt is called as cv hence we wrote du by dt as cv which is pi by 2r fir kal ek karaya tha by mayer's relation you are absent main pura post kar dunga aap dekh lena by mayer's relation cp minus cv is r so cp will be cv plus r therefore cp is pi by 2r plus r cp is 7 by 2 r then adiabatic constant denoted by gamma equals to cp upon cv so gamma is 7 by 2 r upon 5 by 2 r r by 2 r by 2 cancel therefore gamma equals to 7 by 5 copy this gamma equal to 7 by 5 For diatomic rigid gas, adiabatic constant is equal to seven by five.
cancer. Okay. Seven by five. Then third one, di atomic non rigid gas. Eight. As three degree of freedom due to translational motion and two degree of freedom due to rotational motion. and one degree of freedom due to vibrational motion therefore average kinetic energy for one molecule will be equals to 3 into half kbt plus 2 into half kbt plus 1 kbt because for vibrational motion it has got potential and kinetic energy total it becomes 1 kbt so lcm is 2 3 plus 2 5 plus 2 7 kbt therefore kinetic energy or you can say only energy they are one in the same energy for one mole comma u equals to 7 by 2 r by n a p into n a n a may cancel so d u upon d p is 7 by 2 r c v equals to 7 by 2 r then CP minus CV is R, CP is CV plus R, CP is 7 by 2R plus R, so CP equals to 9 by 2R, gamma equals to CP upon CV, so it is 9 by 2R upon 7 by 2R equals to 9 by 7, copy the third one, then it will start radiation.
done sir okay fourth one polyatomic now last this will complete ktg and radiation ka ktg wala theory poly atomic gas they have three degree of freedom due to translational motion three degree of freedom due to translation motion and थ्री डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम ड्यू टू रोटेशनल मोशन अभी दो नहीं थ्री है ड्यू टू रोटेशनल मोशन एंड दिस टाइम दे विल हैव हाउ मेनी वाइब्रेशन वी डोंट नो बिकॉज देर आर एन नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल सो विल से एंड एफ डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम ड्यू टू वाइब्रेशन बिकॉज हाउ मेनी वेज दे आर वाइब्रेटिंग वी कैनॉट प्रेडिक सिंस इट इज more than two gas molecule therefore energy of one molecule will be 3 by 2 kbt plus 3 by 2 kbt plus f vibration then f kbt that will become 3 by 2 3 by 2 is 6 by 2 so 3 kbt plus f times kbt which will be equals to 3 kb you can take common 3 kbt we can take common kbt we can take common inside 3 plus f so for one mole u equals to kbt means r by na into t 3 plus f Into N A, N A N A cancel. So D U upon D T will become three plus F into R. So C V equals to three plus F into R. Capital S.
done yes sir okay now since ct minus cd equal to r so ct is cd plus r which is equals to 3 plus f r plus r that will become uh, 3r plus 1r so it will become 3r plus f r plus r which is nothing but 4 uh, 3r plus 1r is 4r so 4 plus f into r gamma equals to cp upon cv which is 4 plus f r upon 3 plus f into r which is 4 plus f upon 3 plus f this is for polyatomic gas Then, yes. Now nothing you will write. I will just explain writing part. I will uh, give the notes. You refer that because this part is very simple. Radiation. Our chapter is KTG and radiation. KTG have completed radiation part. Don't write any note. Just keep on listening. Radiation. And if doubt comes, ask me. It's notes immediately after lecture. I will send you radiation. Actually, it is the mode of transfer of heat in the form of electromagnetic waves from body at high temperature to the body at low temperature body at high temperature to the body at low temperature example the heat energy received from sun is in the form of electromagnetic wave. Any doubt in radiation understanding? No, sir. No, sir. Mode means method of transfer of heat in the form of electromagnetic wave from body at high temperature to the body at low temperature. Example, heat energy or heat radiation received from sun is in the form of electromagnetic wave. Properties of radiations. Properties of radiations. First, they are electromagnetic waves. Second, they can travel even in 
vacuum. Third, they do not require material medium. That's why they can travel through vacuum. They do not require material medium. They travel with the speed of light that is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. Fifth, they lie in infrared region. Sixth, they obey law of reflection and refraction because they are waves. Just read this six point, see whether you have followed. Yeah, done now. Huh? Yes, sir. one define coefficient of absorption so we have three coefficient coefficient means comparing absorption reflection transmission suppose this is one surface and this is radiant energy radiant energy means heat received due to radiation is falling on the surface then part of heat energy is absorbed partly reflected and partly transmitted so what part is transmitted absorbed reflected that is termed as coefficient of absorption so i can define like this the amount of amount means quantity the amount of radiant energy incident on a surface suppose we take that as q the ratio of amount of radiant energy incident on the surface to the the ratio of amount of energy absorbed by the surface denoted as QA to the amount of radiant energy incident is to the amount of radiant energy incident in bracket you can write Q is called as coefficient of absorption it is denoted by a which is amount of radiant energy absorbed to the amount of radiant energy incident q a upon q just read see followed very simple definition amount of radiant energy absorbed by surface to the amount of radiant energy incident on the surface yes sir follow follow na? this is the easiest chapter which is of the syllabus radiation then coefficient of absorption oh sorry absorption i did reflection now you can also tell me the definition it is defined as the amount of radiant energy reflected by the surface to the amount of radiant 
energy incident on the surface is called as coefficient of reflection denoted by r equals to qr upon q this also followed yes sir third one coefficient of reflection coefficient of reflection are yes reflection ho gaya transmission coefficient of transmission it is defined as amount of radiant energy transmitted by the surface to the amount of radiant energy incident on the surface given by p equals to qt upon q clear all the three absorption reflection transmission yes, show that a plus r plus t equal to 1 show that a plus r plus t equals to 1 let q a comma q r comma q t be the amount of radiant energy q a q r q 2 be the amount of radiant energy absorbed comma reflected comma transmitted respectively let q be the amount of radiant energy incident so by theory of heat exchange heat exchange means heat is lost by one body gained by another body we can say total heat is sum of qa qr qt dividing throughout by q we get q a upon q plus q r upon q plus q t upon q equals to q upon q q a upon q is a q r upon q is r q t upon t is p equal to 1 Just check whether you have followed this also. Yes, sir. Shall I clear? Yes, sir. A plus R plus T equals to one. Die. a thermeneous body there are three types of body which we have to study di a thermeneous a thermeneous body and perfectly black body perfectly black body a body which transmits almost all 
द रेडियंट एनर्जी इंसिडेंट अपॉन देम आर कॉल्ड एज दाई अ थर्मेनियस बॉडी a body which transmits all the radiant energy incident upon them is called as diathermic body when transmits all then can i say p is one hello and a is zero r is zero can i say like this hello yes, yes sir a thermic a body which does not transmits radiant energy incident upon them are called as a thermic body so they do not transfer transmit so t0 and a plus r equal to 1 so diathermic transmits all therefore t is 1 a and r 0 a thermenius does not transmit c is zero and a plus r equals to 1 now perfectly black body a body which can absorb almost all the radiant energy incident upon them absorb almost all the radiant energy incident upon them are called as perfectly black body therefore a will be 1 R equal to zero, T equal to zero. Okay, a body which can absorb almost all the radiant energy incident upon them are called as perfectly black body. A one R zero T zero. Yes, everybody has followed this much also. Yes, sir. Yes. In nature, we don't have perfectly black body. Nobody can absorb all. Na, thoda to loss hoga na. Yes, sir. so we can create artificial black body yes so they can ask explain construction of artificial perfectly black body artificial perfectly black body or it is also called as peris black body साइंटिस्ट का नाम था जिसने कंस्ट्रक्ट किया इसलिए इट इज कॉल्ड पेरिस ब्लैक बॉडी इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ डबल वॉल डबल वॉल मतलब इधर का हिट इधर नहीं जाएगा बाहर से अंदर नहीं आएगा सो इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ डबल वॉल इवॉक्युएटेड hollow steel it consists of evacuated double walled evacuated steel sphere with small opening this is open called as aperture it consists of double walled hollow sphere copper ka bhi chalta hai evacuated double walled evacuated hollow sphere double walled evacuated hollow sphere with small opening called as aperture opposite to the aperture there is conical projection which prevents the heat loss due to reflection along its same path matlab aisa agar surface hai light is incident normally to aisa reflect ho jayega na koi path pe but if i make curvature like this now light falling will not be along normal it is making some angle with normal so it will get reflected back like this okay so it won't come along same path 
Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Small projection is provided opposite to the aperture to prevent the heat loss due to reflection along same path. So, you can see MCQ put Conical projection does that. It prevents heat loss due to reflection along same path. Inner surfaces are coated with lamp black. Kajal pata aak loko? Jo aak me lagate kajal. Yes, sir. So, if we have grandparents at home, so log khud bana lete kajal. Wo kya lete? Ek diya lete. Matlab ardhan uh, utensil. जो दिवाली में यूज करते दिया उसमें प्योर घी डालते हैं एंड एक विक लगा के उसको जला देते हैं देन इनवर्टेड दिया व्हेन दे पुट तो कार्बन शूट ऊपर जमा हो जाता है यस नेचुरल काजल हो गया प्योर फॉर्म में उसको बोलते हैं लैंप ब्लैक नो हाउ इट वर्क्स व्हेन द लाइट इज इंसिडेंट व्हेन रेडिएंट एनर्जी पासेस थ्रू अ परचर it falls on conical projection undergoes multiple reflection and is prevented from coming outward thus almost 90 to 95 percent of heat is absorbed hence it is called as artificial perfectly black body it is also named as ferris black body okay okay done Hello? Yes, sir. Emissive power. The amount of the asset types in emissive power. The amount of radiant energy emitted per unit time, comma, per unit area. Amount of radiant energy per unit time, per unit area of a body at given temperature is called as emissive power. The amount of radiant energy emitted per unit time, per unit area of a body at given temperature is called as emissive power. Therefore, E equals to radiant energy Q per unit area per unit time. What will be its SI unit? Its SI unit? Joule. Heat is energy Joule. Per second? Meter square. Joule upon second? Meter square. Joule upon second is also called watts. So what per meters? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Coefficient of emission coefficient of emission. Whenever coefficient word comes, it is always ratio. So the ratio of emissive power. Emissive power means heat emitted per unit time, per unit area. Emissive power of any body to the Emissive 
पावर ऑफ परफेक्टली ब्लैक बॉडी मतलब रेशियो ऑफ एम पावर कोई भी बॉडी का टू द एम पावर ऑफ परफेक्टली ब्लैक बॉडी एट सेम टेम्परेचर इज कॉल्ड एस कोएफिशियंट ऑफ एमिशन इट इज डिनोटेड बाय ई इक्वल्स टू E upon E B, no unit because it is ratio of two similar quantities. Take a look. समझ गया बराबर? Yes. एकदम simple है notes में जो मैं बोल रहा हूँ ना वैसे ही दिया है. So when you read it will be easier for you. और ये upload भी कर दूँगा इसका lecture. Next state and proof. Kirchhoff's law of radiation. State and proof. Kirchhoff's law of radiation. What is this quantity called as? Coefficient of. ये क्या चीज है कोफिशियंट ऑफ हेलो यस सर क्या चीज है ये कोफिशियंट ऑफ क्या फिर रमायण पूरा ऊपर तो चला गया लगता है इसको कोफिशियंट ऑफ क्या बोलते हैं इसको क्या बोलते हैं इसको क्या बोलते हैं This is coefficient of absorption. अभी आप बोलो ये क्या है? Reflection. Coefficient of reflection. ये coefficient of transmission. और ये वाला? Emission. Emission. ये simple है क्यों इतना tension ले रहे लगते हैं आपको? ये last topic करता हूँ नहीं तो बहुत ज़्यादा हो जाएगा ऊपर से चला जाएगा statement. At same temperature, coefficient of absorption is equal to the coefficient of emission that is a equal to e this is kirchhoff's law of radiation what is our statement at same temperature coefficient of absorption that means a is equal to coefficient of emission okay clear yes now i have written state and prove let us prove whether it is true or not proof so for same temperature i have to prove that a is equals to e a means coefficient of absorption e means coefficient of emission so we require two bodies one is ordinary body other is perfectly black body consider two bodies ordinary body a and perfectly black body b to be kept in constant temperature enclosure meaning of constant temperature enclosure is a surrounding which will not increase the temperature to be kept in constant temperature enclosure let E, comma E B, be the M S F powers of 
ordinary body a and perfectly black body b let a comma e be the coefficient of absorption and emission respectively coefficient of absorption and emission respectively let q be the radiant energy incident per unit time comma per unit area on both bodies just read from the screen see have you followed this much am i thermodynamic is taught in your college yes sir thermodynamics they taught you yes sir okay because many things are deleted from there understood okay shall yeah shall I, shall i clear this much yes sir okay ekdam simple hai main notes mein bhi wapas bol raha hu same language mein likha hai aur yahi main upload bhi kar dunga ye jo bol raha hu yahi notes mein bhi print kar diya hai now consider body a what is amount of heat energy incident on body a per unit time per unit area we have taken q na yes sir now it is not black body so it cannot absorb whatever you have incident you have incident q but it will absorb how much a q or not because a is coefficient of absorption which is ratio of amount of it absorbed to incident So if Q is incident per unit time per unit area, how much it will absorb A Q or not? Yes, sir. How much it will emit per unit time per unit area? It is its MSC power E or not? Hmm. मतलब हम लोग ने दिया Q, उसने खाली लिया A Q, और emit किया E. Since temperature is constant, मतलब जितना heat आप लेंगे उतना वो फेक देगा ना अदरवाइज बॉडी का टेम्परेचर बढ़ जाएगा यस सर तो हीट एब्सॉर्ब मस्ट बी सेम एज हीट एमिटेड हीट एब्सॉर्ब इज ए क्यू हीट एमिटेड इज ई आई कैन राइट इक्वेशन वन नाउ कंसीडर ब्लैक बॉडी बी amount of heat incident per unit time per unit area q this is black body so it will absorb all q msc power is eb again temperature is constant so heat absorbed must be heat emitted equation 2 dividing 1 by 2 we get a q upon q is e upon eb what is ratio of e upon eb e no yes sir so this proves kirchhoff's law of radiation so this much you all revise and then tomorrow's lecture i will complete this chapter full then left out will be completed by sunday as i promised i have completed every i will complete full so that's all for the day please revise okay hello thank you sir yeah, yeah. yes well, thank you sir thanks a lot thank you yes bro